The Raiden Shogun has returned for yet another rerun, and I'm very glad to say that Raiden has not stayed the same since her last rerun, but actually with some key fonting characters, she and her teams are much stronger than before. So in this video, I'll go over what these teams are, how to play them, kit them, and more. Without further ado, let's begin. So when it comes to Raiden's top new teams, a common factor in some of her teams is Farina. Farina is such a good unit and breathes new life into so many characters and teams because of the damage bonus she gives through her fanfare stacks. On the subject of breathing new life into teams comes our first team. This team is a slightly altered take on the Raiden Sunfire team. The crazy thing about this team is that Raiden Sunfire was already really good in its first conception. Though it was overshadowed by her national team, Sunfire was always very strong in a top team of Raidens, with a unique twist. With Jean's Pyro Swirls, Raiden's personal damage, and the occasional vape and overload, this team was incredibly strong while having great sustainability. By now replacing Ayato with Farina into this team, this team carries all the strengths it has and puts it on steroids. This team is incredibly strong, the team deals so much damage that legitimately when I first tried it out, I was stunned. I could not believe the damage I was dealing. As you can see here, the team got the mechanical ray in its weakened state in just one rotation. It is crazy. Everyone in this team deals so much damage. Right in here feels as though she's C2, which mine isn't, she's only C0 and still hitting well over 200k with her burst then comes farina she is a big upgrade for mayato who would deal pretty decent damage with his burst but this is not the case for farina she deals significantly higher damage with her skill occasionally hitting 50k vapes so when it comes to damage this team absolutely has it and more and that's the great thing about this team is that it doesn't just deal high damage it can do more than this which makes it the perfect team it has great sustainability even with Farina, though there will be times where the team loses out on some HP because of Farina, of which is to your benefit. But with Benny and Jean, once you use their bursts, all units will have their HP at max, and it'll basically stay this way. Last but not least, though this is to be expected, but it is a really important thing with this team, this team has really good energy regeneration. This team is very burst heavy, but thanks to Raiden, energy is no problem at all in this team. And really this team has no problems in general. Like I said, it's a perfect team, it's strong in every aspect, it lacks nothing, while being really fun and very fast paced. I can't recommend this team enough, if you have it, definitely give it a try. When you do, be sure to give Jean 4 Viridescent with pure EM artifacts. This is for the swirl damage you'll be dealing with Benny's burst, which though you may not see amidst all the damage numbers by Raiden and Farina, her swirls do add a good bit to the team's overall damage. Finally, when playing Raiden with Farina, try to give Raiden an attack goblet. For most units, this is a universal rule when it comes to Farina, since Farina will be giving so much elemental damage bonus to her teammates that replacing your goblet with an attack goblet does lead to more damage. The next team we'll be going over is another classic team of Raidens. It is none other than Hyper Carry Raiden. For those surprised, yes, Hyper Carry teams have been played even all the way back in Inazuma. I remember when they were first gaining popularity, I was ignorant to them since I thought that only one unit dealing all the damage was bad, and man was I wrong. Like the original Sunfire team, Raiden's Hyper Carry team was, and still is, very strong. Raiden hits really hard in the setup, and is still a viable team to play with. But by replacing Farina with Kazuha, the team shifts to a different route, changing it a good bit, but it's still just as strong, and in some cases even better, than the original. Aside from now having Kazuha free to be played in another team, the benefit of the specific team setup is that it's better for multiple enemies. That's not at all to say that the original was bad for multiple targets, but by slotting Farina in, it's better suited to fight hordes. This is because on top of Raiden dealing damage, Farina will also be dealing damage, which though her skill will be focused on the enemy you're attacking, it will also attack surrounding enemies. But the main reason why this setup is better for hordes of enemies is because with Farina, the main reaction of the team will now be Taser. This is a good thing since Taser is a good and worthwhile reaction to perform, but it does come at the expense of seeing Raiden hit very high numbers since overload won't be occurring. Now I enjoy big numbers as much as the next person, but realize that the damage we are missing out on Raiden is being made up by Farina and Taser. So though it may appear as though you're not dealing as much damage, you actually are and in certain cases, more. 
some of you have probably noticed that I've included Kujo Sara in this team, which I gotta say is long overdue. She's one of Raiden's best supports and I've been sleeping on her for too long, you already know I'm gonna be building her, but Sara does heavily rely on her C6 to be strong, which I know is very hard to get, so for those that don't have it, as always you can replace her with anyone you like, but some notable options are Kazua, Sucrose, and Jean. Now putting Jean in this team would change it to the Sunfire team we just went over, but Jean is a very valuable choice because she can use 4 of your Descent, all while enabling for the team to achieve Farina's max fanfare stacks, which Bennett can't do, though he can achieve more stacks than normal if he's built as a healer with 4 Maidens Beloved, which you should run if you're not playing Jean, but again it's not all stacks. Moving to our next team, this is a team I'm really glad and excited to share. It is a Chevreuse Overload team. So if you're lucky enough to Sniper, which thank god I was, trust me you want to try this team out. I never thought I'd say this, but Overloaded has been massively buffed and it's actually viable to play. The way this buff works all ties down to Chevreuse. In all honesty, in her niche of teams, she's actually kind of broken. What Chevreuse will do is that she won't actually increase the overloaded damage you'll deal, but she'll decrease the enemy's resistance to Pyro and Electro when overloaded is performed. And the resistance she applies is massive. It is a whopping 40%, which is equal to that of 4 Viridescent Shred. This is actually a huge damage buff to Pyro and Electro, and thus she makes overloaded teams much stronger, and actually worthwhile to play. And the crazy part is that she does all this at C0 and while being a 4 star. Bearing all this in mind and building a Raiden team, I gotta say I'm really shocked and this is one of my new favorite ways to play Raiden. The reason why is that to play a reaction I've always ignored is actually enjoyable. But beyond this, the team deals really high damage. Raiden with Chevreuse and C6 Sara hits like a nuke. The damage she's outputting for an overloaded team is insane, and for a team that's mostly made up of 4 stars is even more insane. The damage Raiden's dealing is incredibly close to the Sunfire team, of which is filled with limited 4 stars. So if you're looking for a strong, free to play friendly team, or want to try out a new team that doesn't deal low damage, this is the team for you. The team was very surprising to me, and I'm really happy with it. Chevreus is really a game changer when it comes to these types of teams, but the only downside to this team is the resistance trade we've gone over. It only triggers when overloaded occurs. With only Benny and Chevreus as the pyro units, you're not going to be able to repeatedly trigger overload in a single rotation. Now, way to fix this, as well as have a more free to play friendly team, is playing Shangling instead of Sara. Though Raiden's damage will suffer, you will be able to make continuous use of the Shred. An honorable mention is the new Taser team Raiden has. I've mentioned this team in the past, but it's so good that it's worth to mention once more in this video. This is a team purely focused on dealing as much damage as possible, while being simple and cheap in the sense that you're not using the highly wanted supports like Kazuha and Benny. Continuing with the Raiden, Jean, and Farina combo, and now including Yolan, everyone's damage in this is maximized and support each other to deal the most damage possible. And therefore, everyone deals really good damage, from Farina and Yolan's passive damage, to Raiden being significantly buffed by these two, in addition to Jean's own damage and swirling of Hydro and Electro, every enemy's HP is quickly drained by this team. And the nice part of this team is that it's quite comfy to play. You don't have to think much when you're playing it, this team is very straightforward and easy to play, while again being very strong. Well everyone, these are all the teams I have for you today. Please let me know what you thought of these teams, as well as any new Raiden teams you yourself have been playing. If you enjoyed the video, please consider liking and subscribing. And with that, thank you all for watching, take care, and thank you all once again.